Guys, today we're having a little bit of a local experience. We are going to have or enjoy some local Sri Lankan food facing on to the incredible Lion Rock here in Sigiriya. Welcome to Sigiriya and welcome to this local Sri Lankan food experience that we will be enjoying with the amazing Nilokshan and his wife and of course Naomi as well. <laughs> Let's enjoy. We usually cook meals for us for lunch. Then uh, we stop somewhere like this where we can relax and we eat here together with the family. So now we are the family. We are the family. First time washing hands. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. It's so windy. I want to give this color paper. <laughs> this is sweet and inside it's really special. You will see a leaf, special Ooh. leaf. Okay. So you open yeah, yours first. Open <laughs> Oh, it's in the banana. Yeah, it's in banana the banana leaf. leaf. Wow. So you can feel the taste of banana when you eat. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So today you have chicken, and this is a special uh, leaf sambal which made with coconut. And this is a special thing, it's called drumstick. Drumstick. It's not chicken. It's yeah. Drumstick. You know. Oh. That? No, I don't. It's really special in Japna yeah. because in every Japna curry we, they have this uh, vegetable in their dishes. Oh wow! So it's really special. You have to eat that. It's like uh, this. Then you have to break it. Then you have to. <laughs> oh. you have to do like that. Okay. How does it taste? It looks like celery. Yeah, you can yeah. try. Yeah. You want to try some first? Yes. Let's go for a drumstick. Yeah. How do you break? Oh, okay. I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not eat the. So you don't have to eat the cover. <laughs> Just eat the middle. Oh. Slide it off. But uh, the spices are good mm. to our taste. I mean, local taste. Very tasty. You have to try. Is it spicy? Yeah, just a little bit spicy. <laughs> so she cooked everything, so you can try. Nice. And what is this? It's papadam. Papadam? Yeah. Uh, papadam. It's made with wheat flour. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we uh, eat this along with the rice. So you have to break it apart, then mix with rice like this. Oh, it, nice. It adds some sort of a crunchy for the. Yeah. Your bite. More texture, yeah. 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 <laughs> Be wow. careful about the wind. Yep. So now you experience the real local way of <laughs> eating meals. <laughs> Thank you so much for preparing. No, this is so good. Mmm. Wow. That's so tasty. Yeah. So the way you have to eat, you have to mix everything together like this. But you have to use only this part, but I also not good at that. <laughs> then you have to take the rice like this, then you have to put the ton out, then push the rice from your thumb. Okay. <laughs> you use your hand like it's a sho like a shovel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Demonstration on how not to do it. Mmm. <laughs> it's so oh, good. Wow. So good, and not too spicy. Yeah. Really. <laughs> and the green stuff is. It's uh, some sort of a leaf. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's good for the eye view. Oh. Ah, good for vision. Very good. Yeah. So tasty. Mmm. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm so happy. This is so good. Yeah, it's oh the perfect God. way to start our stay here. We're so grateful to have you too. Great. Yeah, Great to thank you, you so much. Okay, you're welcome. Mm. Did you try the drumstick? No, not yet. So it's made with uh, coconut milk. Coconut milk? Yeah. Oh. We have, uh -oh. we have the boys that love stick with Ooh. coconut milk. <laughs> <laughs> mm.
Oh, that's really interesting. The taste of this is really interesting. The texture is a little bit like celery. A little bit like celery, yeah. But the taste, no. Yeah. The taste is not like yeah. celery. The wind is crazy. Oh my god. Spring <laughs> lunch. So we have varieties of rice. So this is called area. It's called kiri samba rice. Uh, it means the seeds is uh, seeds are very small. So uh, when we prepare fried rice, we usually use this seeds. Oh. This rice. Yeah. And the water level is differ. Uh, I mean, depend with the rice. Okay. So we usually measure water. Uh, like I don't know. this is the water limit when we cook rice. We usually put water like this. Then we get the measurement like this. If the rice is here, this is the water level. Oh, it's shallow. <laughs> yeah. No, in the pot, not in the field. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he thought in the field. I thought, yeah, I thought in the field. <laughs> because um, Europeans are not very good at cooking rice. Yeah. <laughs> oh you know, we, uh, we put way too much water yeah. and then we, we strain it with like a... Yeah. a what is it called? A, Sieve? A sieve, yeah, yeah. yeah we we strain it with a sieve and then it obviously tastes completely different. Yeah, then, yep. yeah, then that you will get a very sticky rice. Yeah. yeah. So we don't usually prefer to have sticky rice. Ah. So uh, we usually wash uh, rice three times. Yeah. And then uh, we cook then uh, with the water limit I told you. Uh, but our traditional this is milk rice. It, it is made with rice and milk, uh, coconut milk, so it's very sticky. Mm. Mm -hmm. But we don't prefer to have sticky rice. Yeah. Here, uh, the taste is different here. Yeah. Japanese rice is sticky rice, no? Yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. sushi rice is sticky? Yeah. yeah. Interesting how it differs <laughs> from where you are in Asia. Add green chili. Mm -hmm. Green chili. Mm. So we usually eat green chili. Green chili? Yeah. This is where the spice is. <laughs> is green chili more or less uh, spicy than the red some, one? Yeah. Some green chilies are very spicy. Uh, some are not. So you have to know the plant. What a view. You have to know the chili plant yeah, to um, know how spicy it is. For will example, um, if the chili, when you, when you have the green chili, if it is like very uh, colorful, very green color, and if it is, uh, you listen on it. Mm. If it is very shine, it means it's really hot. Oh. oh. If it has a sh like shiny. Yeah, it's shiny. Ah. Yeah. Mm. This is so good. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the best food ever. Yeah. <laughs> mm. it's exactly what we needed. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so guys that was a quick little bit of almost a chaotic experience <laughs> of enjoying some local Sri Lankan food with some Sri Lankan locals here and then this is literally our first couple of minutes at Sigiriya and the sky just opened up started to rain <laughs> but we will have plenty more videos coming your way from Sigiriya. As I said, we just arrived, so expect that very, very soon. Now guys, we apologize for just how kind of crazy and unstructured this particular video is because, to be honest, it was totally on the spur of the moment, totally unplanned. We were being driven to our new homestay here in Sigiriya by the lovely Nilakshan and his wife from Anuratapura. They drove us all the way here and then they decided to say that they had prepared us some lovely local food and that's why I was like, we have to film this experience. And it was so incredibly special. The Sri Lankan people are absolutely out of this world and they treat you so so well um, we've never had an experience like this to be honest but we've arrived in Sigiriya I'm gonna give you guys a quick little bit of an accommodation tour here um, check the room out Hello. <laughs>
we have a Naomi, of course, guys. Of course, There's always an addition of one of us, if not the <laughs> both of us. <laughs> but this is the room. Nice big double bed. We have a fan, which is very much so needed. We are in the middle, literally the middle of a jungle. We have an AC as well. We have an AC as well. So there's no worries in terms of temperature for us. So for some people, an air conditioner is a must have for us. It doesn't really matter as long as we have a fan like this. We had a fan yeah. in the last place and it worked really well. Sometimes I feel like ACs are a little bit counterproductive because obviously it's really hot outside and then if it's really cold inside, you actually tend to get, or I get to then sick. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same for other people, but I get very sick very easily. So. Uh, we usually don't actually turn on the AC if we have one. Sometimes, like for five minutes or so, we do, but it's uh, a rare occasion. Yeah, but we have both, so we have a choice. This is a massive bed, kind of similar enough to the bed we had the last time, only this time it's one. We had two massive double beds in Anuradhapura, and we have this big mosquito net as Very well. <laughs> uh, I think I never actually sleep, slept with one, so I'm very curious to see how that's going to go with the two of us. We're both massive, so... Yeah, true, true. But nonetheless, they're going to feel like a princess. Oh, and look, it's doing its job. There's like a little fly on the net, so it's keeping him away. We also have tea and coffee, which... If you know me and you know Naomi, Naomi loves her tea, and she's actually started drinking coffee again. She quit coffee for a long time, but now she's back drinking the coffee. And we do have coffee and we have tea and we have a kettle, which if you know anything about Irish people in particular, Irish and British, we use kettles and we drink instant coffee typically, which a lot of the rest of Europe thinks is disgusting. The Italian me does not approve. The Italian Naomi is really getting angry right now because obviously Italians love their espresso coffee and their drip coffee and all of the specialty coffee. But guys, look at the bathroom. It's a big bathroom. It's kind of like a big wet room bathroom. So you have one, two, three shower heads. So you're gonna be getting attacked from all different angles from water. And then obviously this is where you would take your shower. You've got a toilet, you have a, one of these things, which if you ever travel Asia, you'll know all about this. This is kind of to keep your, your, uh, your bottom parts clean. And then you have a sink as well. Obviously sink improve, it, it will surprise, surprise there's a sink. Um, <laughs> and we do, have, <laughs> we do have a fridge, a mini fridge where we can buy coke or water or anything like that is this diet coke what di diddy diddy coke i'm assuming it's diet coke but uh we do have some options there's no diet coke in there so i don't know what diddy cock is uh, <laughs> it is a funny word what is this kinley soda it seems to be a coca-cola product but i've never tried this so kinley soda it looks kind of looks like a cream soda maybe um you guys it is a handy pack. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, you are telling us down in the comments that we need to do a food video and that's what we're planning on doing soon. This was kind of a food video, more of just how the locals treat us as tourists. And that is absolutely amazing, by the way. But we will have a food video at some stage where we basically just focus on food and um, typical Sri Lankan beverages as well. And you told us to try Elephant House Ginger Beer, EGB, uh, e and actually the guest house um, owner, Nilokshan, told us to try that as well, so it is on our agenda, don't worry, it's coming soon. Nonetheless, guys, this is the accommodation. That was a quick, unorganized video, Very but it is, yes. the whole idea of this video was just kind of an extra insight and an extra video for you guys. We're trying to produce as much videos as we can. We typically usually do twice a week, Thursday and Sunday. But ever since we came to Sri Lanka, you guys have been blowing up our comment section telling us that we should be posting daily, which is literally impossible because we do work online as well. This is not our full-time job yet. But um, yeah, we will try and post as often as we possibly can. 
Just because I thought about it right now, I would like to thank the new channel members as well. We have two new channel members, so we would like to say thank you so, so much for keeping us going. And because of you, we can do what we're doing right now. So thank you so much for joining our channel. Yeah, you guys are absolutely awesome. Um, if you didn't know already, guys, we do have a membership option where you can join our channel for a very small amount of money per month. We haven't made money since we started traveling, just so you may be watching our channel going, they have a lot of views, they probably have a lot of money. We are actually losing money by doing this. Yes, the channel generates ad revenue, but all in all, we are spending a lot more than what we're making. So if you do want to support us, even just a little bit, check out the membership section. But for now, guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. And we'll see you guys in the next Sri Lankan adventure. Stuti for watching. Stuti for watching. <laughs> bye bye guys.